Last February, we had a delightful visit with a young woman who knows that when you put your trust fully in Jesus Christ and surrender to his plan, all things pass away. All things become new. Well, we talked about a lot of the old things last visit and there's so much that's new. We need to catch up with Dusty May Taylor. Welcome back, Dusty. Hi, Moira. <laughs> and you know, I'm gonna say right off the top that some people who have called our prayer lines have been encouraged, have been prayed with by you. Yes, I love the prayer lines, they're amazing. And people call in and they have no idea that they might have seen me on the air, it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> and despite all the new things happening in your life, you're still able to be here one day a week. Yes. That's good. Congratulations. Thank you. You are engaged to be married. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's see it. All right, a little close up here. There we go. Isn't that sparkle, stunning? sparkle? And it's always exciting news. But how this has all come about, the ring story alone mm -hmm. is pretty special. Yeah, God is a worker of miracles, and He gave me a little miracle in the ring. What happened is my fiance and I. Um, we're really poor, like poverty sucks straight up. And <laughs> <laughs> so we couldn't afford to get engaged. And um, despite this, we were giving our ties to our local church. And we also felt challenged to give a little bit of extra. And we did so, which meant no engagement for a while. And people were getting engaged all around us. Mm. It was ridiculous. And we couldn't, and I pouted. And <laughs> then God responded, not really to my pout. We also had faith. We were praying and saying, you know, God's gonna come through. And one day, um, a gentleman who goes to our church, but he's you know, not close to us, um, he felt the Lord speak to him and tell him to do something for us. And he came up to my fiance, Mark, and with a plastic bag and said, God told me to give this to you. And inside was this ring, um, Canadian diamond, perfect fit, and a wedding band with 12 diamonds and a wedding band for Mark and then a diamond necklace for me. And yeah, it's all certified. There's receipts and papers with it. It's crazy and perfect fit, of course. So, so you have a date? Yes, June 11th. 11th. Yes. This is wonderful. It is wonderful. This is wonderful. And I don't know, you know, how much we want to tell. And you stop me if I'm going too far here. But um, although you haven't planned the wedding, yes. it would seem the Lord has it in hand. Yes. No, it's very true. Um, What's been paid for? Somebody paid for the church for us. Somebody's doing catering for us for free. My sister is a beautiful hairdresser. She's doing my hair and makeup. Her husband's a photographer. Um, somebody's paying for my dress, like the, the tents and everything. Everything's just covered. We have musician friends. Everything just thump, fell into place. Wow. Yeah. It's all wow. Yeah. You started a new job this fall? Mm-hmm. That you love? Really great. I work at a music school um, called Studio E. It's a new studio, and the people there are incredible. I have the best coworkers, the best non-boss. She's so lovely, she won't let me call her my boss. Um, great students, it's wonderful, yeah, really good. Wow, it's all wow. Now, I knew you were a journalist. Yes. I think we came to know you through some courageous uh, writing. Yes. <laughs> um, can, can, can I allude to one without being too specific? Oh, sure, go for it. Um, because I, I uh, got a copy of a letter of complaint mm -hmm. that you sent about a billboard ad. Oh, yeah. You know the one I'm talking mm -hmm. about. The interesting thing is as soon as I read your letter, I knew the billboard ad you yeah. were talking about because I came out of uh, ha having bought groceries and hmm. it was right there Yonk. and inappropriate would be an understatement. Yeah, it was nasty. And I'm no prude. Yeah. Um, you took uh, took the challenge on of saying uh, this is an on. Yeah. What was the outcome of that? They all got taken down. Yeah, I contacted um, a local counselor and uh, spoke to him and he was, well, maybe talk to this person, maybe talk to this person. I just kept on going until I found the right people. And then I looked at their standards and it was in violation of their code. So I sent it in and got other people to send it in and it's gone. Wow. Yeah. I did that with another billboard recently, actually. I'm waiting for the outcome because there's another one that's really nasty, but someone's got to. They're gross. The power of the pen. <laughs> yes. The power of the pen. <laughs> what I didn't know is that you also pick up a paintbrush. Yes. I've been doing You're that since I was You're an artist down to your toenails. Mm-hmm. 
A worshiper, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, to before we see this, uh, tell us what the inspiration was. Sure. What happened was I used to paint and draw on things all through childhood, but then in the spring, I really felt God put a specific painting in my mind. Um, he gave me a girl who I needed to take a picture of to be the model, the position, everything about it. And it was a girl worshiping God and just sort of being able to see the spirit of God touch her. And I worked on it and it was really hard because I'd never really undertaken something like this. I had to grit it out and yeah, I'm not like some prodigy. I had to work at this. But H have you had art lessons, Dusty? Uh, high school. I took art in high school. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. That I, it's my own, I basically self-taught with this stuff. I just kind of That's start going. Yeah. yeah. Well, take a look. I think this is pretty impressive. Yeah. And this, you had a live subject, as you said. Yeah, well, I took a picture of her and then did that in acrylics. Yeah, that's kind of a close-up of it. But yeah, she's worshiping God and she loves God. And you can see God just touches her. That's how I feel when I worship. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I know her posture is your heart. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You have a pretty exceptional opportunity mm -hmm. coming up very soon. Yes. And um, I think it's fair to say our viewers uh, can take an interest in this because ultimately uh, we're going to see the fruit yes. of this blessing yep. in your life. I get to go to Israel. <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, CTS is doing a show, which I'm not going to give details about, but it takes place in Israel and there are people in Israel on the show and I am one and they can stay tuned for more. <laughs> well, it's going to be something very, very special. Yes, We're all excited about it and I'm excited that you get to be a part of it. Thanks. It's just, I see it as a, a just a key piece in God's growing of you. Yeah. This is all I mean, some people are watching saying, oh, come on, this girl's just got too many blessings. Yeah, How, what one about, of those what, people. <laughs> yeah, what about me? But to know the before yeah. um, is to just rejoice with you because your life was in such a different place. And, yeah. and what stands out to me, Dusty May, is the chapter where life had brought you to a place of three years of basic imprisonment yeah. in, in a room mm -hmm. where you were reading awful stuff yep. for up to 20 hours a day. If not more, because sometimes I would just stay up for days on end. You know, you, you don't want to miss the stories. Yeah, I became very escapist. I, um, my family was really broken growing up. You had multiple parents really, didn't so, you? Well, there was, yeah, you know, relationships and not relationships and all sorts of confusion. And um, I had, you know, a stepfather pass away and weird things like this. It was, it was messy, it was very messy.